Hello YouTube, uh, it's President Michael back with another uh, video. Um, I have a couple uh, new successes today and then I was going to show you some more blasts from the past. First success I want to show you is an in-person success. I went to this uh, one event where there was um, well, a whole bunch of people, there was a member of the media and I asked him for his autograph. And I know who he is. His name is Rick Elmhurst. He's with Bay News 9. Bay News 9 is a well-known um, um, uh, news channel around here. So I asked him for his autograph. And first, uh, he signed my autograph book. Show you. And I asked him for a business card. And he signed in the back. Now I had my picture taken with him. I didn't get a chance to get it developed because it was rather late. But I could show it to you. I have it on my camera. Second. I don't know how well this is going to show. Oh. And when I get it developed, I'll show you. I don't know if you're anyone's interested in it, but that's that. Okay, let's turn this off. There. there. And the in person, or not the in person, but the uh, TTM that I got, I got a postcard from Del Quentin Wilbur. He's a, an author. He wrote Raw High Down. It has to do with uh, Ronald Reagan. Now, I think I got this a postcard from him before because this was awfully familiar. But uh, there's where he signed right there. So I'm pretty sure I got this postcard before. Okay. Here's some more blasts from the past. Now, um, i show you now, some of these books I got in person. And a few of them I got... Um, sent through the mail and one I purchased. Oh, what, no, let's start with the one purchased one. There was one important um, Premier Collectibles book I forgot to show you yesterday that I really like and I'm proud of. Here's American Sun, signed by Marco Rubio. Bought this from Premier Collectibles. Signed right there. He's currently a United States Senator. He was mentioned for a long time about possibly be VP under Mitt Romney. This is um, signed limited edition, 1826 of 5,000. There's that one. Okay, now here's the in-person. Now I got these over a several year period. First one is, what ever happened to, to Super Joe? Catching up with 45 good old guys from the bad old days of the Cleveland Indians by Russell Snyder. He was signed copies of his book at Spring Training in Florida. I wish now I would have been paying more attention to this book because I met a few of these guys since then. I could have got it autographed. This would actually be a good uh, project that uh, you see some um, YouTubers doing, like Zane, he's doing that My America book. And another one, and one that was written by um, Brian Kilmeade. And a book like this would probably be a great one to do. We see some different players, and it'd be great to get their autograph and stick it in the book. Something I might consider doing with that one. Okay, here's another one I got years and years ago when I was a young kid. Got this back in 1998. This is um, Pataki, an autobiography. It's, um, it's written by George Pataki with Daniel Peisner. Tacky used to be uh, the governor of New York, and I met him when he was governor. This was at a book signing. It's probably the first auto book I ever got in person signed. And sent right there. I did get my picture taken with him. Not at that event. I met him at um, two other events a couple years later. And I'll take those out another time. Here's Catch, a major league like by Ernie Witt and Greg um, Cable. I met Ernie Witt a couple years ago when he was manager for a uh, minor league team. 
He was surprised I had this. The only thing I regret is I wish I would have personalized it to me. I didn't think of it at the time. There it is. Okay, now all the next four books that I'm going to show you, I got um, TDM. I sent them to the person who got autographed. Okay, the first one is I'm Just Getting Started, Baseball's Best Storyteller, An Old School Baseball, Define the Odds, and Good Cigars. Written by Jack McKeon and Kevin Kernan. This is signed by Jack McKeon. I sent him this book. He's signing it right there. Now this book is The World Without Us by Alan Wiesman. Basically he discusses in here and he has scientific, and this is backed up by scientific fact. This isn't a novel. What would happen to the earth if humans were to suddenly disappear? It's like that show that they had in the History Channel and National Geographic. I'm sure you know, the name escapes me at the moment. Which is sad because I have them on DVD and I can't believe I don't remember it. But he pretty much wrote a novel version of something like that. And it's a brilliant book. It's very, very interesting, very well thought out, and I think he puts on a great case of what would happen to the Earth if we were suddenly disappear. Some things would stick around for millions of years. He's a professor at a college. That's where I found him. And I sent this book to him to get signed. He also signed a couple index cards. I didn't think to bring them out. I can show you another time. He's a group, very good signer, very nice guy, and I'm very happy to get the sign. It's one of my favorite books in my collection. Okay. Here's another one, and I know Zane Savage would like this because he really likes them too. This is The Sky is Not the Limit by Neil deGrasse Tyson. I love Neil deGrasse Tyson. He's a brilliant man, very interesting. I think he's a great man, and he he's just... He's just very interesting to uh, listen and to read about and to read his works. Uh, the only thing I made you disagree with him, I had with him, is over Pluto. I think it should be considered a ninth planet. I think it should have been grandfather then. But other than that, he's a very interesting man. And this is also one of my prized books. Show you. Well, not right there. And he has such a unique signature, and I think he uses a fountain pen. That's the way the writing looks to me. He also sent me an autographed photo, and that also I didn't think to bring out. I mean, I was just going to show the books this time, so I'm going to have to bring that out one time. A great book, and that's not the only one he's written. He's written others. This last one I wanted to show you is John Glenn, a memoir by John Glenn with Nick Taylor. This is the only autograph by John Glenn. I sent this to him to get signed and he signed it through the mail a couple years ago. And it's another favorite book of mine. He's one of the few old school astronauts that still signs in the mail. At least signs are free. He was also a United States Senator. Um, but um, he, like I said, he's one of the last few ones that signed and that's gonna it's coming to an end. His signing habits is not as reliable as once was, but you gotta think about it, he's around ninety years old. So that's not gonna continue. Okay, um Well that's it. Uh that's last of the blast from the past I wanted to show you. Um like I said, if you want me to continue showing you uh these past autographs I've gotten, let me know. Uh put the comments down below. Um let me know what you think, any questions. And I appreciate if you would uh, subscribe to my uh, videos. If you film videos you sell yourself, if you could just uh, plug my channel, let people know, let me know so I can thank you. And um, to, because I just like to know. And um, I'm going to start plugging some videos myself. I already plugged a few uh, um, before. Of course, you already knew the, the ones I mentioned before, like Stacey Schaefer and Zane Savage. And, Tennessee Valley TTM because they're very popular. You already knew them. But there's some others that uh, especially recently um, contacted me and subscribed to my video that could you also, also use the sub, so I'll be mentioning them too soon. I'm going to put together a list because I'm going to want to do several of you at once. 
Um, oh, I'm going to have come in soon um, a large shipment of autographs that I purchased. I think it's going to be about 18 from the same seller. I'm hoping to get it this week, maybe early next. I think you're going to be very interested. It's going to take a long time to go through with all of them, describe what it is and everything. I'm not going to tell you anything about it now until I get them. One other thing, another thing I purchased, and it's probably going to be the last purchase for a while because I just, um, I got to take a break from that for um, reasons I can't get into. But uh, it's a book. It's signed from a famous person whose husband is even more famous than her. I'm not going to get into it until I get until I get it in because I want to I want I want to make it a big surprise. Okay, well, thanks for listening. Like I said, if um, oh, and this is video is for November the sixth. Even though I'm filming on uh, November the seventh, it's about it's like two or three in the morning right now for me. I'm a night owl. But so this is for November the sixth. Uh, let's see. I know there was something else I wanted to mention. I'll be filming a video again soon. I can mention it then. Anyways, I'm not gonna keep blabbering because you're not here to see me blabber. Or to look at my handsome face. Or my brilliant smile. Or anything else. Okay. Anyways. Kin kin in the side. Um, thank you for listening. If you like I said before again, if you have any comments, um, leave it below. Um, and make sure you like my video if you like it. And remember, be autograph strong. Be autograph strong. You. Yeah, you. The one that's watching this video right now. Be autograph strong. Okay. Alright, well, I'll see you again hopefully tomorrow or the next day. Depends what comes in. Alright, see ya. Bye.